Robert Prudent. Can you guess what we're doing today? We are going to read a story. Like a book and it's called I Broke My Truck. Book. An Elephant and a Piggy Book by Lou Williams. Before we read, if you, if you know what speech bubbles, we're going to learn in today. It's somewhere here. When it, a speech bubble, and when it gets close to somebody like right here, um, Garland said, I broke my trunk. His name is Garland and Piggy, and this is a pig right here. I want, I want to try to show the quickest I can. I like, like, I mean, like the closest I can here. And it's, and his, and her, and his name is Piggy. I have not seen Garland today. Why, said Piggy. Garland! shouted Piggy. What happened to your trunk? said Piggy. I broke my trunk. How did you broke your trunk? It, it is a long story. It, it is a, it is a long story. Tell it, tell it, said, shouted Piggy. <laughs> well, I was playing with Hippo. to let Hippo in my trunk. What? Uh, Why, X Piggy? Remember, you can always pause it. You can always remember it. Because, said Garland. Okay, said Piggy. So I let Hippo into my trunk. But a hippo on your trunk is very heavy. I said, but a hippo on your trunk is very heavy. Is that how you broke your trunk? No, said Garland. There is more to my story, said Garland. I wanted to disturb the story. I know at the end, but I don't want to tell you. Then Rhino showed up, said Garland. Rhino wanted a turn. What did you do, said Piggy. You could see he's waving his hat at the same time when, when he talked. But he talked like without it. I left both of them into my trunk. But a rhino and on, but a hippo and a trunk on your on on your trunk is are very very heavy. If I would be a trunk, I will hold like ten people like that. Is that how you broke a trunk? Uh. No way, said Garland. There is much more to my story. Then Hippo's sister showed up, shouted Garland. Hippo has a sister, said Piggy. <clears throat> a big sister. Sir said Garland, real, really, 
slow, boys. Did she want to turn too? Said Piggy. Yes. Yes. She also wanted to play her piano. But two hippos, one rhino, and one piano on your trunk are very, very heavy. Look how many tears he has. Look how many tears he has. This is really heavy stuff. Is that on your book, your trunk? No, Koopa Koopa, no way, said Garland. This is a crazy long story, said Piggy. Garland. How did you break your trunk, shouted Piggy. Well, I'm so proud of what I had done that I ran to tell very best friend about it that is that is you, Piggy, said Garland. But I tripped and fell whoop, and broke my trunk. You broke your trunk running to tell me your story? Garland, that was pretty long. That is a crazy story. That is a funny story, said Piggy. I want to tell someone your story. Whoop. Piggy, what happened to your snout, said Squirrel. It is a crazy long story. The end. I hope you like this book. I always want you to learn how to read books because I can always read 10,000 10, books of an elephant and piggy book. I don't think that's how much book there are in total of these books, but that's how much I guess I think. Lots of authors write books, you know, but some books are not the same. Some are chapters, some do not have chapters, some are baby books. I don't have a baby, so I have, a, so I have baby books, and lots of other types of books. All right, so see you later. Try to subscribe on most videos. Bye bye boy bye boy bye boy bye 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 I hope you have a great time with your family